Into our news headlines now, the 30-year anniversary of the Bisho massacre where 28 protesters and a soldier of the former Siskai were shot dead by members of the Siskai Defence Force will be marked by a number of events today. Now, more than 200 people were wounded when an estimated 80,000 people marched to the Bisho, uh, to Bisho rather, demanding democratic reform in the former homeland. Now, the Eastern Cape government will lay wreaths at the burial site in Ginsburg in Tronze and uh, Tronze and then at the Bisho Massacre Memorial next to the stadium. The day will be concluded with a memorial lecture delivered by Lubuyo Wachela from the University of Fort Hare in honor of those that gave their lives pushing for democratic reform in the former homeland of Siskei. The proceedings in the Life SET Many Inquest will today hear evidence from former Director of Gauteng Mental Health Services, Dr. Mahabo Manamela, after a two-day delay. Yesterday, Manamela failed to testify as she reported sick. Now, the proceedings were adjourned on Monday after Manamela told the court that she was not ready to take the stand. Dr. Manamela's application for a postponement was dismissed. Her evidence is to focus on who exactly granted the real location order of the over 2,000 mentally ill patients from the Life SET Many facilities. About 144 patients died during the June 2016 relocation to other NGOs, most of whom were unlicensed and not suitable to accommodate such patients. Bus operator Patco says it has issued notices of intention to dismiss 1,000 employees because the workers ignored an interdict against their strike action that was granted on Friday. Workers have until the close of business today to explain why they should not be dismissed. Patco services remain disrupted by the unprotected strike over wages. Employees have embarked on a strike action at Patco depots in Dobsonville, Pocketon, as well as Roseville in Khan. Thing. Meanwhile, the My City and Dyla Ride services will resume in Hout Bay uh, following talks between the city of Cape Town and the Hout Bay Taxi Association. And in the Nelson Mandela Bay Council, uh, they are expected to debate a motion of no confidence against the ANC's embattled executive, Mayor Eugene Johnson, today. Johnson was dealt a major blow in her bid to keep the position yesterday when the Kwebeka High Court dismissed with cost her urgent application to interdict the special council meeting and remove the motion of no confidence from the agenda. The ANC-led coalition government will go to council uh, with a numerical disadvantage as some of its coalition partners have joined forces with the DA. ACDP councillor Lance Grootboom, who submitted the motion against the mayor, says that service delivery under Johnson has deteriorated.